Time for today's Health Watch. November is Lung Cancer Awareness Month. New technology is being used to help detect lung cancer early, including so-called monarch robot technology. Listen, we're up for anything that helps. Dr. John Lazar, the chief of thoracic surgery and robotic surgery at MedStar Washington, joins us with more. I appreciate you joining us this morning. I mean, it's very important. It's very timely, especially with this month uh, in lung cancer. But tell me about how uh, these, these robots, that were, this, this process can actually help with the early detection. Yeah, thank you uh, for having me. This technology is a real game changer for us in early lung cancer detection in the sense that is nodules as small as seven millimeters, which is about a quarter of an inch, can be detected easily on a CT scan. But the problem before all this is, is what to do about it. And what we're doing about it now is we're actually able to use that CT scan, create a GPS map out to it, and use this robotic bronchoscopy to go through your airway and put a small needle into it and get a biopsy to determine whether or not this is cancer or not. And if it is, then we're able to treat it at a very early stage. It's pretty incredible, just the advances that you have and being able to do that. But it all goes down to that very first step, which is getting that CT scan in the first place. Uh, and a lot of people don't do that until it's too late, or, or maybe they think that, hey, maybe I have symptoms of something, but I don't know what it is. Uh, what should people be aware of symptom-wise if they want to start this process? Yeah, well, the, the whole idea is to act before their symptoms because the disease is fairly advanced when we have symptoms. And so what we recommend is, is that if you have been a smoker or are a smoker, uh, you should talk to your doctor and ask them if you qualify for a low-dose CT scan, which is equivalent to sort of, you know, mammography in the sense uh, that this is the best screening tool we have. There's no blood test, there's nothing like that, but unlike colonoscopy or mammography, it's completely painless. You just nearly need to lie down for about 15 seconds, the scanner will run over you, and uh, it will help determine this. But really, it's either you, the patient, or your loved one who will actually help you get a recommendation and, and encourage you to go to your doctor to see if you qualify for this low-dose CT scan. Hey, listen, that, I mean, pain-free, that's my kind of procedure. Um, talk a little <laughs> bit, when you, when you get back to this actual process that you're doing to actually get that biopsy, is the whole idea behind that, uh, and, and as groundbreaking as is, just is it the same idea, get it as quickly as possible so that you can save some time and, and hopefully save some steps in the treatment process? Yeah, absolutely. So the idea is as soon as the CT scan is done, you review it with your physician. The physician, you know, will then make a recommendation to either someone like myself or interventional pulmonology. Uh, and we will then schedule you for a visit and the biopsy at the same time. If it comes back positive, we can look at the lymph nodes uh, to determine stage. And then at that point, we can figure out if, you know, what the best course is for treatment. But what I would once again stress is to not wait for symptoms, but just to figure out, you know, whether or not, you know, your smoking history or work exposure, such as asbestos or working in boilers or being in the military, helps qualify you for a CT scan. Doctor, got to wrap things up, but real quick, in just a couple of seconds, you know, a lot of times you hear uh, if people do get lung cancer and they don't smoke, it's like, oh, they didn't even smoke and they still got it. The converse of that is, is that people, if they don't smoke, they, they might not get screened, right? Because they think it won't happen to me. Uh, do you, is it like a colonoscopy and you just get to the point where you recommend anybody over a certain age gets this screening? Uh, unfortunately, we're not at that stage yet. I think where the future will lie will be with a blood test, but we're not quite there yet. Um, probably the best thing to do would be, you know, yearly chest x-rays if you're a non-smoker. Great advice, doctor. Thanks for joining us today. I appreciate, uh, appreciate your time and your expertise. Thank you, sir.